going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to auto auction rebuilds where today we're finally going to discuss the elephant in the room and i mean that almost almost literally the elephant in the room as you saw in the title i purchased a 1959 dodge cornet for uh, and now listen to me guys bear with me four thousand dollars cheap i mean for what you get in this car, it was ridiculously cheap. $4,000. This is a complete, all original. And I think it really only has 86,000 miles on the clock. It has the original two-speed power glide transmission, push-button automatic transmission. It has the original, you're going to think I'm crazy, but it's a 326 cubic inch, two-barrel, 5.3 liter v8 that produces 250 horsepower and 350 pound feet of torque this thing even though it does weigh somewhere around i think it weighs more than that but i looked it up and i could have swore i saw that the weight was somewhere around 4,000 pounds i feel like that's not accurate maybe i got some misinformation somewhere but yes this is not a 318 this is not a 360 this is not a 325 in 1959 chrysler dodge wanted a unique engine and they they told the engineering department to come up with something with a larger displacement and they literally came out with the 326 now most of you have never heard of a 326 hell most of you have probably never heard of a 325 but this is a 326 i have googled it i've wikipedia it i've i've done all my checking on this car and this is 100 a 326 cubic inch v8 that uh honestly i did not know existed and most people that i've talked to didn't know it existed i even talked to weird beard and he didn't know this engine existed either so that makes this a pretty damn unique car and four thousand dollars are you ready to see it and we got some goodies going into it today it was listed on facebook marketplace as a run and drive uh when i called the guy or sorry messaged the guy he said that it was running and driving in january he stopped driving it and now it doesn't run it has an electric fuel pump it looks like somebody has put a recent carburetor on it um the fuel does go through the carburetor fuel you can see fuel coming out of the carburetor um, and from the jets, the accelerator pump is working. The fuel pump is obviously working. The electric fuel pump is working. Uh, and it just doesn't want to run. It'll try to fire up occasionally. I'm going to see if we can get it to fire up just for a brief second for you guys. I don't think it will because I decided to play with the points. I thought I could gap the points. I've got a gapper and uh, apparently I failed, guys. Everybody keeps telling me points are really easy to gap. I'm not having any luck. But anyway let's get into it there she is white walls and all when i said this car is complete i meant this car is complete it has all of the chrome all of the trim everything it is still even wearing its original paint the two-tone blue and white i wasn't kidding when i said this car was original it's got a little bit of surface rust it has all of its original hubcaps at least as far as i know they're original it's original glass as you can see some surface rust here obviously it's going to need some attention to the paint that's going to have to happen but the body is in great shape the windshield original and starting to delaminate this is very common on older cars like this the weather stripping for the windshield actually looks to be in good shape the roof beautiful roof only a couple minor very minor dings look at the trim we still have all of the chrome trim look at this guys look at all of that beautiful chrome now you do see a few dings in the chrome back here I want to make it very clear, I did not buy this car with any intention of making it show quality condition. I didn't buy this car with the intent of, of restoring it. Uh, unfortunately, that's not realistic. Now, there is a nasty, nasty dent right here that has warped some of the metal here. Hopefully, 
we can get that taken care of. Look at these beautiful fins. I mean, the styling is absolutely phenomenal on this car. Now, the tail lights have been broken out, but thankfully the chrome is still good. All right, all the chrome is here, it's good. It came with brand new tail lights in the trunk. And I'll show you the trunk in a minute. She's got a trunk, boy. This car has got a booty on her. 4,000 bucks for all of this. Does it have rust? Yes, it has a tiny bit of rust. Look at the beautiful designs here. All of this is gonna to need to be polished and cleaned once we uh, get it ready for paint and everything. The white wall tires look to be practically new. Uh, it does have a tiny bit. This is the only rust. And I've even looked in the floor pans and they look good as well. That's the only little spot of rust. I believe that can be fixed. There are some tiny dings here and there, door dings in the chrome. Truthfully, I don't think the chrome needs to be replaced. I think this car is wearing its age very elegantly. I actually really like the patina of this car. Yes, there is a hubcap missing. It is inside the car. Look at this mirror. There is some pitting, unfortunately, around the edges and on the inside. Not much you can do about that, but the mirror works. You can adjust it. It actually works. You've got your, your chrome wiper arms. You've got your chrome all the way down. I mean, guys, this car is so complete. It's, it's honestly, it's honestly insane. It, it blows my, the windows work. They're manual windows. All four doors do open. The panels for the doors are in the trunk. All right, look at this. She's a little squeaky. Definitely need the felt around here. There's felt that's missing over there as well, I believe. Uh, it needs some of the little stuff, but look, look how easily the window goes up and down with just a few cranks. I've got the windows down because it is fairly hot. Here's the seats. Beautiful, beautiful reupholstered seats, I'm sure. I'm certain that these seats are not original. And it's got some shag carpet back here. That's a little loud, sorry. Uh, that's a little squeaky. A couple door hinges definitely need to be uh, looked at and addressed. But look at the seats. Look at this beautiful blue headliner. Now, I'm kind of torn on what I want to do with this car. We'll go over that in a little bit. What is that? Uh, obviously, you can see the floor pan here. There is some surface rust in here, but it's just surface rust. There are no holes going through the floor of this car, at least not that I have found. And as I said, the windows do work all the way around and they actually work pretty damn well. This door is a little hard to close, but it does close. Uh, let's take a look. In fact, let me get the key. Let me find the key here. I'll go ahead and put in the ignition. She's not going to start, I can promise you that. Uh, the lights come on, the turn signals come on. Everything appears. Oh. You can hear the electric fuel pump. I think you can hear it. There is the other hubcap. There's the air cleaner assembly down there. And here is something most of you have probably never seen before. This is, uh, this is for hubcaps. This is what you use to beat on and pry off hubcaps without damaging the hubcaps themselves. Here is your gauge cluster. It's actually got lights. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there are lights that change color. It's green up to 30. Looks like it's yellow uh, up until around 70 or so. Then it looks like around 70, 80, it goes into the red. So it's actually got like little lights that as you speed up, light up to tell you how fast you're going. I do know that the oil pressure gauge works, the amp gauge works. I can't tell you about these two, but these two definitely work. The light switch works. The uh, blower motor does work. You can barely hear it, but it does come on. The radio does not work, but in the glove box, there is, there is a radio and it bumps. It's got some six by nines. Uh, it's not on a station right now, but it's got some uh, six by nines in the back. And I'm here to tell you guys, it sounds good. I'm gonna just turn that off. There we go. Hidden in the glove box, pretty cool. Here's your defroster right here. 
It's got the mirror right here that looks kind of like Christine, right? Yeah, and believe it or not, I know you're probably thinking you can't see out of that mirror. You actually can see out of that mirror just fine. Uh, I, I know it's hard to believe. Look at this steering wheel. Horn works. Sort of. <laughs> we'll crank it over for you guys. Give it a couple pumps. She's not gonna start. I already know she's not gonna start. Ever since I met, I did get it running. It. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got it started a couple times. It ran for two or three seconds. Literally shot a fireball out of the carburetor, and uh, then I started messing with the points. Once I started screwing with the points, uh, now it doesn't do anything. Look at the uh, the play in this wheel. Here is your two speed push button. Okay, this is a two step transmission. So you got this giant brake pedal down here i mean that thing is massive and it's got manual brakes but uh what you have to do close this door so somebody doesn't run over me but to put it in drive there's no park there is no park uh park is the e-brake okay so you put it in neutral you put on your e-brake and you leave it when you're ready to go to drive you have to put it in drive from neutral if you need to go reverse you can't just jump from drive to reverse or reverse to drive you have to go back to neutral then you can go to reverse and then you can go back to neutral and then back to drive or one or two very cool car uh, Weird Beard is on his way. He's going to come out here and he's going to help me try to figure out exactly what the hell is going on with this car. Um, hopefully, hopefully, we can, uh, hopefully him and I can get this figured out and get her running. Um, as I said, the door panels and, and the window trim is right here. Okay, she's still got all of her pieces. At least I think all of it's here anyway. I see three out of four window trims i see all four of the uh door handle things armrests okay so we got all four of those and we've got one two three four yep four door panels right here we also got some what is this oh what is this looks like we got some pictures i haven't gone through any of this yet guys so forgive me this is all new we got an hei distributor cap Looks like an electric fuel pump. That's interesting. I wonder what that's there for. Um, what is this? What is this? Did we hit the jackpot on this? Uh, Andy Burnbum, Auto Parts Catalog, 1930 to 1962 Plymouth Dodge DeSoto Chrysler. How about that? So we have a parts catalog right here, huh? Very, very cool. This could come in handy if this company is still in business. We have, uh, looks like a 1959. Oh, wow. This is a Coronet. This is what she would have looked like. This was $8. Who knows how long ago. This is a newspaper clipping. This is really cool. What else do we have? Uh, another. This is the actual color of the car as well. This is what color the car was originally. A teal sort of uh sort of color oh wow look at this now this is the color i actually want it eventually i want it red and white i want it red but i want white on the top and white on the thin right here the rest of the car bottom in here i want red or maybe the whole car would look look good red like that i don't know wow the newest of everything great this is wonderful guys oh wow so that's what she could look like there's your there's your your push button transmission uh but you guys want to see the engine right you guys probably want to see the motor so why don't we move on and make sure i didn't i don't lock the keys in the trunk because there's no seat that you can climb through for this in fact why don't i just leave the trunk open before i mess something up I know that she's rough, but at the end of the day, I feel that $4,000 for a classic, I know there's going to be a lot of you that are going to say it was a mistake, that it's a waste of money, 
that nobody is ever going to purchase this. You can't flip this. Nobody wants this because it's four doors. It's not a Camaro. It's not a Mustang. It's not a Transit. It's not any of the cool cars. It's just a big old four-door boat. And I say to you, that's fine with me. I don't care if anybody wants to buy it. I don't care if anybody likes it for that matter. At the end of the day, the only thing that does matter is I like it. I really like this car. I like it a lot. And I like it because it's not something that you can find at every car show. It's not something that's just gonna be sitting there in a line of other cars that look exactly like it. You won't find very many of these riding around. Of course, right now it doesn't ride around, but hopefully with Weird Beard's help it will. As you can see, it has a ginormous air compressor. Look at the size of the air compressor on this thing. All right, this is a 12 volt system, but it still has a generator. All right, we've got our coil and we've got our distributor back here. Now I bought a new coil that we're gonna replace uh, this one with just in case I don't think we're gonna have any problems at it but I got a new coil I got new plugs I got new plug wires I've got the electronic ignition components for it new distributor cap uh, I even bought new points although I don't think we're actually gonna do that so here's what I bought I don't know if any of you have ever seen or used this before but it's a Pertronics ignition this is your igniter electronic ignition upgrade to an electronic ignition and never I said never change points again. This is part number 1381A, and it should be pretty simple. I think it consists of just a couple little pieces here. You've uh, obviously got some screws. You've got your wires that presumably end up going to the coil. This is where your points, I believe, would have gone. And this is the part that really makes this whole thing work. I think this is, whoa, slow down now. This should bolt in right where the points were. And then there's gonna be, I think there's like a, or maybe that is the trigger. Here is a special rotor for this that has, you can see it's got, hopefully you can see, it's got little notches in it. And that way it knows each one of those notch each one of those notches it's supposed to fire right so this thing is going to sit right here in the distributor and as this turns it'll be able to count the notches and fire at the perfect time every time so i think this is going to fix our problem i'm going to go ahead and start on pulling the distributor cap off we're not going to go through this uh one step at a time this isn't a how-to video we're just going to kind of jump into this and see if we can get her running in this video well, unfortunately, I've already run into my first problem. Um, this is the ignition rotor that comes off of the car. And this is the ignition rotor that they gave me. Now, of course, it's going to be fatter because it's got these little triggers in here, these little magnetic pieces that tell it when to fire. And actually, this piece comes completely off, okay? This is supposed to sit in your distributor and then this will inevitably sit on top of it and spin. Now, when you check the two rotors that I have here, you can obviously they obviously see they don't look the same. And this one is very deep and it has like a tab inside of it, a locating tab, whereas this does not. This has a flat spot on the inside. The flat piece is the locating tab because the cam on my uh, distributor that spins this uh, does not have the locating tab. It is flat like this. So I'm afraid they gave me the wrong one So we may have to go ahead and replace the points and I'll have to probably send this back and Get the right part. So weird beard is on his way Hopefully he can help me replace these points and get this thing running As I said guys Mike aka weird beard is here We've actually been working, how long do you think we've been working on it? An hour? Yeah, for about an hour. About an hour? All right, so we've been working on it for about an hour. And what's great about these big old V8s is like, you can have one person working over here, and the other person can be over there doing their thing, and he can swap places and work like, like we've just kind of been tag teaming, man. So it's got new plugs, new wires, new cap, new rotor bug, new coil. I, I, I call it a rotor bug, and people are like, what the, as a rotor bug? 
it's something my grandpa called it okay it says a rotor bub but it's a, i think the actual term is an ignition rotor all right it's got new points which mike capped for us because last time i tried it the car quit running altogether um we'll have to send this back and and see if they can get us uh get us the proper one these things are supposed to run so much better when you change them over to electronic ignition versus points especially at an idle it's supposed to really improve the idle but it looks like everything is together everything is ready to go it's just a matter of putting the key in the ignition and turn it so big shout out and thank you to mike for coming out here where's those old plugs at i want to show oh, the, uh, the yeah the old oh, man yeah. you guys got to see this Let's get it's no wonder it's it's actually a wonder the thing even started at all from before the plugs are just these are actually some of the better ones yeah the, here's a couple here's a couple of the good ones here's one that had no gap at yep, all no gap completely closed off and there was one in here that was worse than that these are fouled out completely Is that all of them or just some up there still? There may be some up. Uh, there's one. There's Where's that really bad one at? I don't know. This one's got a large gap. The rest of it, like, in other words, guys, these plugs, yeah, were, these are uh, trashed. I mean, these things were so bad. I'm surprised it was able to run at all. So at least now we're giving it the best shot that we can. It's, it's got fresh everything. The ignition system is as fresh as it's going to get aside from replacing the distributor. I don't know if the carb is going to work or not. Um, it does it does shoot fuel you can look down whether the accelerator pump is working you can see the jets working i just don't know exactly what yeah. is shooting through the jets i think it's fuel but i got the keys somewhere and i guess it's that time to see if she'll uh if she'll make any attempt to start i love these old keys man little bitty little bitty old keys guys <sighs> nervous i'm always nervous because if it runs, I'm gonna be so happy. You want me to hit it or do you want to just try it on its own first? No, we can give it a shot on its own and see what it does. I know that choke is all the way open. Ready? Yeah. Oh, the batteries. Oh, Batter yeah, batteries on up. <laughs> I was sitting there going, no! <laughs> there you go, try that. All right, yeah. Yeah, well, that doesn't sound good. So I guess we can start with seeing if we got any spark coming out of the coil. Yeah, that's where I would start to. Um, let's pull a plug out. Probably that one over yeah, here. this oh, one over here. One. Yeah, we'll pull out. We'll pull out spark plug number one, guys. We'll we'll mess with this a little more. And we'll be right back. All right, guys. So obviously it doesn't want to fire. Adjusted the points; they were definitely off. We weren't getting uh, we weren't getting very good spark down there. Getting no spark from the distributor cap. So Mike readjusted them, and we're going to give this another shot. Quite literally, a shot of ether. This car loves ether, man. Like it, it, it really likes ether. So here we go. That's 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 promising. Yeah, that sounds like bad timing. That was it. That sounds right. Oh, come on, old girl. So Mike's over here trying to see if we got fuel. He doesn't think we're getting uh he doesn't think we're getting any gas. Well that sucker was well oh, golly, wow. Yeah. Um let's see. Uh you take a screwdriver, shove it down in there. Or you want to cut it off? Yeah, I'm gonna cut it off. Yeah, that's fine. There you go. Watch this guy. Hold on, let me get out the way. <laughs> It not, probably, not it, it, it the key. probably not going to do anything. Oh, no. We're not getting, We're not getting anything. All right. That's a problem. Oh, uh, okay. And the pump's on. So I'm yeah, not... the pump is running. So, and I, I put several gallons in it. Guys, here we go. Look at the... Uh... 
Yeah, that's... I don't think you're going to run off the tank. Not right now. Okay. Okay, well, I, it just so happens that I do have a five-gallon gas can in the house. Okay. There is an electric fuel pump in the trunk that I don't know if it works. But there is an electric pump back here. Let's see if we can... Oh, it's even got wires, dude. Yeah. Oh, boy. This thing is... Here we go. Hello? We'll plug this up real quick, guys, and uh, see if we can make it do anything. All right, so we've determined that we're not getting anything good out of the tank. So we've got a we got a, a a little little water bottle down here. It's got some gasoline in it. Hose runs from the pump to it. Then we'll need to run the hose back from here to the carburetor. And she should run. Should assuming the carburetor works, which I, I'm willing to bet the carburetor probably works. <laughs> all right, guys, we have uh, we have this all kinds of rigged up, but I think I think it'll work. I think it'll work. I do. The pump works. If this does work, then what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go to AutoZone. I'll probably just buy another pump. I'll buy, I'll buy everything. Uh, a new gas tank will have to come later, but I could buy a lot of fuel line. Mike, what do you think if I put the gas tank, like my, my five-gallon gas can, fill it, you know, not full, but halfway, maybe sit it on the floor in the back seat. I've seen them do it all. You ever watch Cold War? Uh, Man, I watched that and Dylan McCool. Yeah. You know, they'll hang it right yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, around, yeah. Around. Yeah, so I'm thinking that, you know, that's what we'll do. Right now, I just, I just want to I want to make sure it runs. And now that I've heard it, I'm pretty sure it's going to run. I think so. And I think it's going to say... Yeah, I, we just didn't have any fuel. Yeah, there's no gas. So. Turn it on and let's fill the bowls up. All right, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Uh, she quieted down. Please. We've got fuel to the carburetor. But no fuel coming out of the uh, I jets. It's coming out just yet. Come on, old girl. Hear that pump getting quieter and that's leaking. Yeah, yeah we you do could get definitely. A bit of a leak. Oh, oh, it's spewing out of the. Oh, it is. Look. Oh, right. whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, that's your float stick. <sighs> the float should come up and shut the fuel off, even though it's trying to pump. So it's a few few Phillips screwdriver or a few Phillips oh, well, screws. We just need to tap on it a little oh, bit. Tap on it. Yes. Yeah, well, stop. Here, let's tap on it. There we go. Tap on it with this. What are we tapping exactly? On the side of here. See if we can't get the bowls. So where was the fuel shooting out of? Though? Right out it, of the gasket. Should it be tightened down some? Is it too loose? Maybe no, somebody was working on it, or. No. Yeah. Could be. The fact we have fuel there right now, though, is. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty positive. Uh, yeah, they're somewhat loose. Oh, oh dude, wow. they're not yeah. even tight. Okay, okay. Yeah. Take twenty. All right, we tighten down them screws. <laughs> Let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna man the key. And if things go bad, you just tell me to. I see a tiny leak. That's good. That's just out of the hose. I don't see the carburetor leak. All right. Oh, let me climb in here. Oh my God, she runs. <laughs> and it's idle. Oh my God. Are you serious? Oh, man. Oh, she sounds good. And it's out of gas. Already. It just, Already. there it goes. There it goes. That fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, let me shut this key off. We'll fill that bottle up and do this again, guys. We got, we got to let it run for me. God only knows how long it's been. Granted, that guy said it was running in January. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. That's I, 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 I don't know. It doesn't look like it was running. But, uh, well, she runs right now, guys. That's so impressive. That is so impressive. 
Uh, I'm happy. It's, man, that exhaust though. Holy crap, that exhaust sounds good. Whew. Okay, so it sounds like the carburetor's all right. We'll, uh, we'll put some more gas up in here, guys. I'll get a runner one more time for you and we can close out this video. I'm gonna call that a success. All right, guys, we're gonna give this another try. I'm gonna turn the fuel pump on, let it prime for just a second. What I like is you don't have to ignition on and off and on and off, like you just turn the key on, primes itself up and you're good to go. There she goes. All right, let's see what she does. Oh, oh it's... We're back to leaking again. Oh, man. Yeah, she's dumping gasoline everywhere, guys. Ooh, that's not good. Hold on, here we go. Here she goes. She, any minute now, she's going to start spewing. Yep, right out of the gasket. There it goes. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I think it's pouring gasoline down the cylinders too. See how it's smoking like that? I mean, if it's coming out of here, it's, it's yeah, it's go it's too. it's spilling into the cylinder. So yeah, let it let it sit and kind of evaporate, evaporate itself nice. out. Okay, well, I guess this is where it comes down to. I need to get a gas tank. I need to get a sending unit. Another. I'm gonna go ahead and replace that pump. And probably put a re an inline regulator unless unless the, the pumps are designed to only put out like five to seven psi yeah, or whatever that's what that chevy love has on the same thing okay and yeah, then we could just i can just go with that a new filter and uh we'll see what a carburetor runs i don't know i mean i wouldn't think this carburetor would be all that expensive this it's just a two barrel i just i hate buying a carburetor for something that i don't intend keeping a two barrel you know it seems like a total waste of money but at the same time I want the damn thing to run and drive. Well, what if you just went ahead and just did the upgrade now? I mean, can't you put an adapter on there? Just adapt it up to four barrel? Yeah. Four barrel adapter on it? Yeah, I can see if I can find a four so barrel adapter. A little, little 600. CFM yeah, yeah, there, yeah, maybe. yeah. Yeah, 600 would be good. Yeah, 600 would be plenty for this, I think. It's not, it's not a big motor. No, it's not canned up. Really no. Awesome. Yeah. Well, guys, I was really hoping we'd get it running one more time for I you. I think you might could actually fire it if you wanted to. And be okay just for a second if you want to hear it one more All right, time. let's try it for, for, for a second. Yeah. I don't even think I have a fire extinguisher here neither. Well, let's, let's let some of the gas evaporate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. I, look, guys, I know you're probably disappointed. You, we really wanted to take it on a drive this time. But when a car, you know, a car this old, the fact that it's even running is truthfully, to me, that's a whole video right there. The fact that it just, it runs. I mean, next we got to... It doesn't even have any coolant. Next, I gotta put. I'm gonna put water in it first. I ain't wasting coolant. We're gonna see if it even holds. We could have a freeze plug out behind the transmission. Who knows? We got it running. That's the point of this video, guys. So, I'm gonna let this stuff kind of evaporate off a little bit. We'll come back in a few minutes. We'll crank it up again, and uh, we'll let it run for you one more time. All right, guys. So my battery died. It's perfect timing. Uh, it looks like most of this has evaporated. But if a fireball comes out, that's gonna be a, it's gonna be it's gonna be real bad. It's gonna be real bad but i think we can get it started just for a moment so you guys can hear it run one more time i'm just gonna turn it and let it go there she goes there she goes is it spewing yet the not Listen to that. I need to get my camera, man. I need a, uh, or not my camera. I got to Instagram this. Listen to her. All right, guys, we're going to try this again. But before I go in there and start it, the fact that this thing is running right now at all is thanks to him coming out here and helping me out, man. I really do appreciate it, Mike. So listen. Go check out his YouTube channel. I'm sure like every one of you probably already know who it is. But for any of you new subscribers that don't know who Weird Beard is, go check out Weird Beard on YouTube, man. I'm going to have his link in the description. You can follow him on Instagram at Weird... Instagram? Instagram. 
Instagram at Weird Beard Auto Sales, guys. Link in the description. Be sure to go follow him. Comment on his latest video, whichever one it is. Go comment on it and tell him thank you, man, for coming out here and saving the day, helping us get this run. We're running out of daylight, so I think I think we got one more in it. Thanks, I think we we can get one more good start out of it. Let's find out. Here we go. Ah, uh, fired right up too. Fill it back. Fill that car back up. Yeah. There she goes. There she goes. This is exhaust, guys. Listen to this. Yeah, it's, yeah, we know better. <laughs> I still got the damn turn signal on over here. I can't believe the turn signals even work. It didn't burn up that gas already, did it? We're still good. Okay, here we go. Oh, come on, old girl. It's, all right. it's just flooding it, Randy. Yeah, we're gonna foul out your brand new Yeah, blood. okay. Hey, you got one more good start out of it, guys. <laughs> like, if you guys realize how long it took to get one good start out of this thing for the few times that we managed to get it started for you, you would have a whole new appreciation. Because look, it was daylight when we started. It's dark now. That's how long it takes. But look, you got it running. It's good. We're going to have to work on the fuel system, obviously, the whole fuel system. It's going to need a gas tank, a sending unit. Um, I'll probably put a new pump and obviously a carburetor for now i'm going to see if i can find that carter i'm going to find look up i'm going to look at the part number i'll see if i can find one on ebay or amazon or something i'll just put this i would like to keep it original for now there's no reason to go decking it out yet i need to know if it drives yeah. <laughs> so we'll start out with just the basics we'll redo the fuel system the brake lines look new so somebody's been under there working on the brakes and it's got damn good brake pressure oh, good. so i think it'll stop i think if we can just get it going we could take this thing on a test drive. It's first test drive. Sweet. Throw the plates on it. Take it. Well, I wouldn't take it on the main street, but we could <laughs> take it around the block. <laughs> something, you know, yeah. if it burns down or something, I want to make sure it's, it's, <laughs> it's, yeah. <laughs> so again, guys, big shout out and thank you to Mike Weird Beard, man. Yeah, I appreciate man. him coming out here and helping out with it today because it runs. And that's all I needed to know. I just needed to know if it ran before we could proceed to the next step. So we'll get the fuel system sorted out. And uh, we'll be back with another video, guys.